Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, I was recently debugging a weird quirk with macOS while at work, and I figured I would share that with you as well as the fix slash workaround. Uh, anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so the problem that I ran into is, in, I think it's specific to Python. It probably has results elsewhere, but uh, the problem that I ran into was dealing with the macOS version and what Python reports as the current version. Uh, here is a GitHub action that runs uh, on macOS-11, which is the, uh, let's see, runner image, yeah, macOS-11, which is the 11.x release of macOS. And so you would think it would have the version 11. However, if we look at platform.macfer, we get this mysterious 10.16 version. And as a result of this, it will not install packages from macOS 11. It'll only install them from these 10 underscores. So if we search for macOS 11, you'll see it's not in the supported list of tags, which is what you can get from uh, pip debug dash v, which is a new command. I didn't, I didn't learn about that until recent. Um, but my question was, hey, this is macOS 11. Surely it should have macOS 11. Why is this happening? And it turns out to be related to the version of macOS in which the Python was compiled for. Uh, the GitHub Actions Pythons are compiled for the oldest version of macOS that they support, which happens to be a 10.x release. And as such, even though they work on newer macOS versions, they are in this compatibility mode for identifying the, the macOS version. Uh, if you build a uh, Python on a newer version of macOS, past that compatibility epoch, so to speak, it will report the correct Mac, uh, macOS version. So if we do, for instance, import platform print platform.macver, note that I am SSH'd into a Mac. So uh, <laughs> if we do uname dash A, you'll see that I am on a MacBook. I know it looks like Ubuntu, but it's because I'm SSH'd in. Uh, you'll see that it reports the correct version. Now there is a workaround for this, and uh, Shoot, what is the environment variable? <laughs> uh, there is a workaround for this to make it work correctly. And if we actually look at, I think it's system version compat. Let's just try that. Uh, the default value is unset, which will allow it to default to whatever the executable is compiled for. If we set it to one, this will force compatibility mode on. So if we, actually, let's just press up a few times. <laughs> Version compat equals one. If we force it to one, this will force the compatibility mode. And so any 11x, 12x, or, or future version of macOS will report this mysterious 10.16 version. Uh, if we set it to zero, this will turn compatibility mode off. And so you'll always get the true version of macOS. Uh, and of course, if you don't have this environment variable, it'll be whatever the compiled default is. And so I later, I should have had this open in a tab. <laughs> I later fiddled around with this and got it to report uh, all of the different versions here. So if we, um, actually that's the other Python version. So this is a, this was a Python was, which was compiled on 11x. So you can see here in normal mode, it reports the right version. In compatibility mode off, it reports this. Now, of course you can't really see that, but you'll have to trust me given <laughs> this little bit of code here. Uh, but in previous, uh, let's see, where, somewhere in here I have the, uh, the, here we go. Yeah, so this is the default mode. So uh, no environment variable, it gets 10.16 because it was compiled on an old version. In compat version zero, we get the true version and with compat version one, we get the old version. That's kind of the TLDR here is there's a special environment variable. Uh, I did notice then when I set this variable to either zero or one, it had some unintended effects on other things. So be careful with this. Uh, your best bet is always to, <laughs> or is unfortunately to recompile the Python. Uh, but anyway, weird little thing that I noticed, so I figured I would share this. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.